Taylor looks relaxed. He looks ready. And uh, Roddy had a little message for you before he walked out there. What did he say? He's going to prove everybody wrong. He said there's possibly two finals in this Premier League for him. And tonight is the first one. He's treating this as if it's a, the final of the Premier League, the final of the World Finals. He's so up for it because he knows tonight puts him in that top four and at the, at the 0-2. Right defeated Taylor, 7-4 in Belfast. That's in the memory bank, isn't it? Everybody who beats Phil, he always remembers it and he always gets his own back. And that was a long time ago. Phil now knows that the darts are right, the grip, that was the problem. Even I said, you know, I didn't think he would make the finals because of the lost the weight, the grip of the dart weren't going right. But now he knows in his own head he's got everything right. Right in fifth, 16 points. Taylor, fourth, 17 points. Anderson, 18 points. It's that close, that close to get to the O2. Incredible. If White beats Taylor tonight, I mean, down in Brighton, it's going to be unbelievable. But Taylor, the mood is in, ain't going to let it get to Brighton. A simple Taylor wins, is in the crowd behind him, Wayne Mardle and Rod Studd, your commentators. Thanks, Dave. Well, just looking back to week five in Exeter, when Phil Taylor lost to Gary Anderson, he had one win from five matches, and it didn't just seem that the Premier League was over, it seemed that it might all be over. But since then, he has proved that indeed he still has the power. Thank you, gentlemen. And first tonight, he to can complete... First. Game He's on. darting revival and book a ticket to the O2 in London by beating Peter Wright. As Dave and Rob was saying, it is that simple for Phil Taylor. If he wins here, he is in. And then it will be a shootout between Peter Wright and Gary Anderson. And this is the way to start a little bit of gunslinging. 140. The pressure is firmly on Peter Wright. He has to get something from this match or match against Michael van Gerwen next week otherwise he will not qualify after six weeks of this year's Premier League Phil Taylor was sitting ninth in the table Peter Wright was top how things change well Gary Anderson 58 well if I was Gary Anderson I want Phil Taylor to give Wright a right royal toweling here. He's not bothered about Taylor qualifying. Anderson is currently a point, uh, sorry, a point above Taylor and two above Peter 59. Wright. He, Anderson should want Wright to win. Well, he, he's got to, he does. There's no doubt about it. Proud. Cheering on Phil. 60. That's their favourite. right as you can see he's using shiny darts that's because they're new he really is 40. a tinkerer with the tungsten every single week that is now a, my math was never very good but i think i think that's seven times seven times in this year's premier league using 85. new darts that can't be the way forward can it can it Well, we'll see. Sometimes works when a football team sacks its manager, sometimes doesn't. Sacks his darts every other week. 100. Phil Uruguay, 158. Power wants 158. And he started in blistering fashion at the start of this match. First two darts found the trouble 20. Not much after that from PT. Nervy. Both nervous. That leaves 48. Single 16 for double, for a break, and a brilliant finish. 89. Bill Uruguay, 58. Well, for a crucial opening leg, Phil Taylor sizing up the single 18 to leave the top of the shop. Double 10 now. 38. Peter Uruguay, 16. A chance. Peter didn't expect, I can assure you. Double eight. Double four now. Across the board. 
Here's the first leg. quality dog. He's arrived. Second leg is Peter incredible. through first. So you can imagine Emo. between 2005 and 2008, Phil Taylor was unbeaten in 44 Premier League matches. Amazing. I'll tell you what's also amazing, Wayne, is that Phil Taylor, the greatest dance player of all, one of the greatest sportsmen the country's ever produced, admits that he's nervous in, in these games and has been nervous. I, I find that staggering that, that Phil Taylor should be nervous about any darts match. He cares so much. One hundred and forty. He wants to perform at his very best. He, he just wants to win all the time and that's what makes him nervous. You do hear many a sportsman say, when I don't get those butterflies then it's time to give up and uh, that is it. 97. Well, reminding you, Gary Anderson, courtesy of a win tonight over Robert Thornton, is on 18 points. Phil Taylor has 17 and Peter Wright has 16. One more week of competition to come. That's in Brighton next week when uh, Phil Taylor has uh, the game against Robert Thornton and Peter Wright plays Michael Van Gerwen. Gary Anderson plays Raymond Van Barneveld. But therein lies the problem, like you said, one for, for Peter Wright. Phil Taylor this week and Michael Van Gogh in next week. Has to get something, otherwise, dream of making the playoffs. We've got on hold for another year. 137. Yeah, had a great start, didn't he? Uh, Peter Wright didn't lose until week eight, and that was Michael Van Gogh in a beat him. And he's got the early lead here, although Phil Taylor. 60. With a strong Go position to level 84. Up. Peter was more or less gifted the first leg. Surely he won't be gifted this. 16 or an 8. 52. Will be coming back, but looked nervy in the first leg on the doubles. Did Phil. Well, we got two darts at double in that first leg. 100. One at double top, one at double ten. He missed them both. 52. He's going to get three here if he needs them. He'll feel He's a lot happier to have found the geometric epicenter of the bed with his first dart. Game on. My goodness, I'll take your word for it. It was in, that's all I know. Peter's performance right now. It's early on, I know, but averaging 82. His performances throughout the Premier League have been ultra consistent. Loitering around the 95 to the 100 mark nearly every match now Peter is not the time to go off the boil my son it could all end in tears 80 I'm talking of tears he's putting them on top of each other here 140 Phil will know as well that, that Peter is off the boil. There's no doubt about it. And he's there for the taking. And that can sometimes make you try too hard and become impatient. 100. Just got to throw three at a time and when your chances come, take it. Just like Phil has done for the last 27 years or so. Well, Peter Wright's only got one. 60. TV success over Phil Taylor. That was the one at Belfast. Earlier on in the season, February the 20th was the date. And that's his only success over Phil ever. 83. Lost nine previous meetings. But that's all by the by, that's, that's gone. Singing the great man Sid Waddell's name here in his native Newcastle. Geordie Faithful out in force. 140. Well, this is a leg in which Phil threw first. He's under the cosh. Another one would be. 140. Pressure on right. He's for a break.
Double 19 then. No option. Well, he's got a smile out of Phil Taylor. He's got a roar out of the crowd. And will the crescendo end with a double? 79. Here we require 44. I'm not sure Phil liked that pause. Peter didn't. Level 16. Pressure. Oh Here's my! Phil Taylor! That's right, Phil Taylor. Oh, that is won so first. often over the years. He doesn't feel pressure, does he? Well, not sure what Phil Taylor made of all that carry on with Peter Wright. But what we do know is Peter Wright has kicked off leg four after that setback with the first maximum of the match. Yeah, Peter wasn't uh, showboating. I just didn't think he, he felt that comfortable, personally, on the double 19. Didn't feel that, 60. that confident. And kind of took an age to throw it. And it was to the detriment of his game, not Phil's. Yeah, that was four. 121. Four perfect darts. One hundred. Peter Wright should level the match from here. A draw would keep things within his own control, really. Seventy-eight. Be the worst result. Would still leave him in to beat Michael Van Gerwen. What would be a disaster would be to lose this match. One hundred and twenty-two. Great second and third by Phil. Keeps some pressure on. Not much, mind you. Treble ten. Ninety. Nice setup to leave double sixteen then. So Phil Taylor can do nothing but heap some pressure on Snake Bite's shoulders. Ninety-nine. Eighty require thirty-two. For a level game. Both players still looking, and I'm assuming feeling edgy as well. Nothing is coming easy to either player, is it? 24. Half chance Here for Phil Taylor. 120. Half chance to go 3-1 in front. Got to find the red bit above that dart. And he has, and now the red bit above the other red bit. For a 120 checkout and an absolute crippler. Right, Miss Thrall. And Phil Taylor stepped in. Game on. That was a massive shot. But did you notice how Phil just kept himself in check, didn't get carried away, knows that that's only part of the job done, and now he's got to carry on hold throw, and then it'll count. Incredible mindset. 100. Winning your in scenario for Phil Taylor tonight in Newcastle would make his final match against Robert Thornton academic later tonight Michael Van Gerwen against Raymond Van Barneveld both the great Dutchmen are safely through to the finals night but top of the table decider really 20 points apiece at the top they have 45 only 45 say it we should say it again there's no point in breaking he cannot hold throw 140 it's more aggressive from peter right you see the last start went in with a, a real thud not thrown with the confidence we've seen in previous weeks 140 well a lead of 54 is slender. Edgy averages, you would have to say. 85. Phil will be looking to leave 36, I assure you. Now 76 will do. 
116, Phil. 100. Well, we got there, didn't we? One hundred and thirty. Feel your call. One hundred and sixteen. Get the feeling this has got to go. Should have a dart a double. Treble twenty leaves double eighteen, and he's not going to get a shot. Sixty. Eighty required. Oh, Peter Wright, chance to break back here and get it back on serve. Mr. Bunch of darts at double last leg. Wants tops. He's no on the fifth problem. Leg. Peter Wright. Bill Taylor shakes Six his head. Peter to throw first. Peter Demon. Wright nods his head. It's 3 2. Yeah, Phil would have been uh, he would have been disgusted with himself, to be totally honest. Like we said about breaking, you've got to hold throw, and the fact that Phil actually threw 15 darts 91. in that league and only left 56, that was what be, will be so annoying to him. You've kind of gave the leg away. But he leads still, Phil Taylor, although, I have to say, unconvincingly at this stage, with an average 100. in the low 90s for the power. This is where we are, MBG, RBB, safely through. Gary Anderson looking in very good shape, and there, the two men in green are the, the key names, Phil Taylor and Peter Wright. Wright, got to get something out of this game. Even a draw would be a reasonable result for Phil Taylor. It would keep him a point above Peter Wright and level on get with Gary Anderson. 100. His leg difference would put him into third and keep him fractionally ahead of the Scotsman. Fascinating set of scenarios. Well, since the 100. middle of the last leg, Peter Wright is thrown with a purpose. The darts are, are going in with, with confidence. What Phil Taylor's got to do, he's got to knock that confidence. Like that! 180! Yeah, 180 confidence knocker, well, but right wants 149. Could be the right score at the right time from Phil Taylor because right has got that wrong. So Phil Taylor, 1 2 1, we've seen a 1 2 0. Oh. 100. Time to raise it to 1 2 1. 60. 11 or treble 11. Sensible dart, in my opinion. Bullseye. 71. He's here required 49. And not quite out of the bullseye, Phil, even though you tell everyone it was. Cameron never lies. Double 16. And the truth of the matter Peter here is six leg. Peter, Peter Wright has leveled the match Seven at three each. Still to throw first. Emon. Good few legs for Peter Wright. And two nice finishes as well. Two darters that, OK, whilst pros always say you should get them. A 55 followed by a 49 in two. Two legs running. 140. Good darts. Peter Wright's average has gone up. Winning the legs. Phil's has gone up by losing them. It's not a step in the right direction for Phil Taylor. Yes, when Phil Taylor took on that 120 check out in the fourth leg to lead 3 1 and had the darts in the fifth. It seemed as though the tungsten tide was flowing the power's way. Not anymore. Not anymore. 85. There we see the tons. 140s just. Phil Taylor could be the stat at the end of this match. Not particularly great from Peter Wright. Decent from Phil. But there is one man at the moment playing better than the other. Peter Wright is the man. With that belief. 140. Good visit leaves the finish. But even despite that, Peter Wright will fancy his chances here. He'll bank that Phil Taylor can't go out 1-3-6. He'll want to leave a two-data. 65. Phil Yerbois, 136. 60. The 
looking to leave a single data. 40 scored. 100. Peter Iqbal, Will he get a dart? For another break and three consecutive legs. Treble 20 needed. Single 16. Crept in. Tops! 96. Well, you saw 96. the distance. Peter Wright was away from taking the lead. Phil Taylor breathed again. Oh, now then. Wobbly one. Double nine. Oh, my goodness. No score. Well, let me tell you. Is he required? That 20. second dart was one of the most nervous I've ever seen Phil Taylor throw. Had no oomph whatsoever. It was never going to get there. He's on the seventh leg. He's arrived. Great leg is Peter to throw first. Shrugged his shoulders. He won't resign himself to the fact that he's going to get beaten. He just said rubbish. Peter Wright leads 4-3. If Peter Wright goes on to win... 57. He and Gary Anderson would have 18 points and Phil Taylor would be on 17 with one match left. He would still be odds on to qualify because he'll 96. play Robert Thornton. He will be long odds on to win that game and most pundits, bookmakers and punters would believe that one of the other two would slip up. But you concur, Wayne? I, I do concur with you completely. You make a great argument, but... 100. It wouldn't be in Phil Taylor's hands. No. If Gary Anderson wins next week and Peter Wright wins, this is all if Phil Taylor loses tonight. He will be out. Of course, it can all change within a matter of three days. We know that. You know that. Led 3 1. All look good. All look rosy for Phil Taylor. Peter Wright oh, looks 100. anything but rosy. Any other colour you care to name, he's got it on his shirt or on his strides, but it's looking very good for Snakebite. Peter Wright is looking as cool as a cucumber. 58. We said before the match, didn't we, that he won't buckle. He's, he's just not that way inclined, Peter. He believes in his ability, as he should. He's one fantastic dart player. 134. Go, you require 170. Well, Peter Wright was averaging in the mid 80s. He's now averaging 98. Now then, another one there for a fanfare finish. Oh, tough, tough. 105. Not, not far away. Peter require 110. Only missed 116 in the previous leg. 61st dart. May stay there or treble 18. Well, I went for the treble 18 to leave the double. 98. Oh, you 65. Massive shot. Huge shot. Got to find the outer ball. Always the danger. One dart only. For the 16 times world champ. He's on the eighth leg. Phil Taylor. Nice leg is Phil to throw first. Hitting the balls on. As a player, you're thinking, I can't believe that. When you're at the seven, you're thinking, come on, go in. Go in, make it happen. That's exactly what Phil Taylor done. Brilliant darts from the six-time Premier League champ. That 91. dart at double four could literally be the skin-saving dart of his entire Premier League campaign. Could have gone 5-3 behind. He knew it, we knew it, Wright knew it. And now he comes out and delivers another monumental blow. I tell you what, he's produced when it's mattered in the last minute or so, Wayne. That's what champions do. 100 credit to Peter Wright. This is a situation that he's never known the like of before. This is his first 
year, remember, his debut year in the Premier League. And my God, he's acquitted himself well. The afterburners have been lit. What an incredible burst from Phil Taylor. Phil Taylor throwing his best darts of the match. 140. And you could argue his last 10 darts have been his best of the entire competition. Now wants double 16 to regain the lead. Fabulous. He's on the 11 dart leg. Off the back of the double Seven four last Peter's dart in hand. A Eight dozen on. darts of almost perfection from the power. That is why darts is what it is because of the likes of Phil Taylor. It's so watchable. Watching someone do something superhuman. Peter Wright, 100 average with that 180. He is not going away. He refuses to lie down. What a match we have now. Well, it started off with some medgy errors, didn't it? And now we're being treated to some top, top tungsten. Last two or three legs. 96. World class stuff. Under extreme pressure as well. They've dragged each other along, these two. So Phil Taylor just 82. needs one more leg to guarantee himself a point. Which will be handy. One hundred and forty. Brilliant. What a contest. As you said, Rod, it didn't look like it was going to pan out this way. The quality wasn't great. Now it's world class. It's amazing. He's here at 85. Well, he's caught fire here, but Peter Wright still wants 85 to level it up. Well, Bull. Or treble 14, treble 14 is good for tops. Oh, 45. Failure of 99. Peter was looking for just one dart at tops. Actually, he got it, but missed. 82. Shouldn't go bullseye. It's the smallest target on the board. Should have gone 42. 59. Peter required 40. To level up the match once more. That's superb. On the that really is superb Peter. because in the last couple of legs he's Let been on the wrong end with some ferocious pummeling from the power and he stood up to it and come back and level. Phil Taylor in the last three legs is it? A 177, two 180s and 11 data. And Peter Wright somehow just leveled 97. the match at 5 all. Both averaging over a ton. This could be the, the make and break for both players in this year's Premier League. Full credit to both of them. Both at various stages in the match have been in trouble. 140. Fought back tenaciously. Now there are only two legs left. Is someone going to win both of them to take both points or will they be split and the points shared? 140. Gary Anderson. We'll be sitting in the players' room thinking, come on, Phil, do a job, mate. Because that will help him massively. It's not looking like Peter's 57. going anywhere. Both averaging a couple of ticks over a ton. Ninety-six. Vital last start. Doesn't leave a finish, but keeps him 136 in front. 100. Good grief, is he going to hit his fifth here just when he needs it most? Three on the pinhead! Magnifique! No matter what Phil Taylor hits, Peter Wright will be throwing for 124 points. He's here at 124. For a break of throw. But he's under massive pressure. 
only get a shot at Bull. He will not. So, to guarantee himself 84. at least a point here, here Bill Taylor wants to stop him. Top students cannot go the left hand side, has to go the right leg. and get it. Zone. Get in, you beauty. Golden final leg is Peter to throw first. Game on. Big leg, huge leg. Well, from an entirely neutral perspective, you would say a draw is a fair result, but Phil Taylor's not interested in fair play. He's interested in qualifying for the Premier League semi-finals and he knows if he wins this leg he will be in and I've got to say 60. I know he's at 60 but all credit to Peter Wright he took his time he knew that the importance of that visit and every other visit in this leg but as you can see the table if if Phil Taylor wins this leg he will be playing at the 0-2 in the playoffs it's as simple as that. 140. He can't realistically finish top of the table. That's almost impossible now mathematically 60. with Van Gerwen and Van Barneveld playing each other. And then people start jockeying position trying to avoid Phil Taylor, Wayne, don't they? If they know he's through, they try to avoid him. They should. No one in their right mind wants to play Phil Taylor day in, day out, do they? You've got to be insane. 60. No. Playing Phil Taylor for a living is not the way forward. Phil Taylor just a shade over the tongue. Peter Wright has dipped just below it. Got to find something here because hasn't found a big treble in this crucial leg. 91. Nine darts and just found one. Phil Taylor is in. Took a deep breath in. Huge hex out. Knows that 140, even a ton, put massive amounts of pressure on. Not a 180, not in this leg. That will just be too. 140. What a leg from Phil Taylor. Knowing he needs to win on 161 after just nine darts. Brilliant stuff. 16 times world champion stuff. He's got to hit the treble to leave it out. Yeah, well, he's found it. He has found it. Here we require 161. Triple 20. He'll stay there. Triple 19 or bullseye. 99. Well, that leaves a dodgy he's 62. 150. That's no gimme. If he returns. This is all about the first dart. 60 wanted. Got to stay there. Got to stay there. He's not going to use the dart. He's going for 54. He's got 54. Well, now is not the time to showboat. Now is not the time. This will be an incredible 132. start if it goes in. Here we require 62. Well, the 16 times world champion has seen it all. Now it's his chance. Now it's his time. One dart, a double 16 to book his ticket. For the 0 and it does not go in. Peter require 18. I think Peter's shenanigans upset Phil Taylor. I think they slightly put him off. Here's they did the not play. put that man Peter off. Wright. He has Max the guts, Bears he has the determination. Peter Wright has kept his hopes alive. A draw, six legs apiece between Phil Taylor and Peter Wright. We're still no nearer knowing who will qualify for the 0-2. Coming up, we have RVB versus MVG.
sponsors Premier League Darts on Sky Sports. Betway sponsors Premier League Darts on Sky Sports. Tasty night of darts here in Newcastle. To Ari Anderson, a 7 4 winner over Dave Chisnell. Adrian Lewis's first win in nine matches, 7 5 over Robert Thornton. Couldn't spare these two. Six apiece between Phil Taylor and Peter Snape by Rice. Rounding off the night at Battle of the Dutch Masters, Barney against mighty Michael Van Gerwen. One week left of the regular season. Phil Taylor, third place, 18 points. Wins against Robert Thornton, he's through. Gary Anderson in fourth place, 18 points. He wins, he's through. Peter Wright, Michael Van Gerwen. Well, he relies on the others. 17 points so far from 15 matches played. It was packed full of emotion. Phil Taylor, double tops to get the points, 6-5. Peter Wright, Mr. Entertainer getting the crowd on his side. Mr. Double 18 though. Taylor, for the match, missing 16. And that double nine, wrapping up the draw. Hear the roar. Peter Wright, a point against the power. Phil, talk me through that. You were shaking your head looking at the replays there. I was gutted, I'll be honest with you. I had my chances. I missed a lot of doubles there. Peter, Peter did give me chances. He's played better than that all through the, through the tournament. And this time, I had a load of chances. Trust me. I'm, I'm happy with the draw. I'm, well, I'm not happy with the draw, I've got to be honest. But I'm happy still to be in there. Peter, it's going to be a fight right down to the wire. That's, it's not quite how you planned it, but you're pleased to still be in there and fighting. Well, I've just planned just to uh, still be in the tournament, uh, not drop out in the first week. So 
uh, whoever I play, I just battle and I, uh, I never give up, you know? That's, that's me, never give up. You must be proud of what you've achieved in this Premier League because a lot of people didn't think you were up to it at the start. Oh, you proved a lot of people come, wrong. Most definitely come to these arenas and these fantastic crowds. It's, it's amazing and uh, I, I wish I could do it every year. <laughs> but I've got to be fit for that. I need to start <laughs> working out. <laughs> uh, you've got Robert Thornton next week. Win and you're in. Winner for me? Well, I'm going to be trying, that's for sure. A draw might get me through, I don't yeah. know, but next week's going to be um, twitty, twitty time next week. I was going to say twitty bomb, can I say that? <laughs> yeah, but it can. will be very, very nerve-wracking next week. Not just for me, he's got Michael, who he's, he already said he smashed Michael anyway, so next week's going to be interesting. Gary, yeah. Gary's got to qualify. There's three of us fighting for two spaces. It's brilliant, really. Let's talk about Michael Van Gogh because you and he have had a bit of previous. You upset him last time you met. I'm going to upset him again. I don't care. <laughs> if you don't like it, get off the stage. <laughs> uh, no, Ooh, no, I'm no. going to watch that one. <laughs> no. he, he says a lot of things, it, it, Phil. It'll be a good game anyway, but <laughs> I will win. He says a lot of things. It's, it's brought a lot of interest to the game of something? darts, He's one of the nicest people you ever wish to meet. He is. But when he gets up here, he's one of the worst people you ever worked with. <laughs> to meet. But that's what you've got to do. That's why the lads now, he lives in a big house and he's having a swimming pool built and nice car. And oh, well, that's what you do. You know, you go out and earn it. And that's what this fella's done. You know, you, he's got off his backside you, and he's earned it. You seem to be enjoying life at the moment, Peter. Most, most definitely, yeah. Uh, but most yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 Pops as well. Most definitely. <laughs> uh, but you've got to not be scared of anybody. You've got to give everyone 100% 100, 100, uh, respect, obviously, but as soon as you're scared of somebody, that's a weakness. But the thing is, you don't give everybody 100% respect. You, <laughs> you play them. Simple as. Uh, yeah, I'll just play the player. Exactly. So, so if they don't like me, tough. Exactly. So that's not 100% <laughs> respect, is it? He wants, a few, he, he he wants a few people up, doesn't he? But that's, that's, that's good for him. Of course it is. He's making people talk about the darts. I get, I get more people ask me questions about this fella than I do about myself. Or about Adrian Lewis or Barney or Michael Van Gogh. And look at his hair tonight. Look at his state of it, eh? My wife's done a lovely, lovely job. I think it's the best one she's he done. He even so told far. me he was going to do it. <laughs> Fair play to him. Peter, what would it mean to you to, to make the playoffs, to make the O2 and... Do your thing in London. What do you mean if I make it? I will make it. <laughs> Thank you, Brendan, for your hands together. Phil Power Taylor, Peter awesome. Wright. Best of luck to both of you. Thank you. Up next is a battle of the Dutchmen. On stage three, we don't like each other. We need to try your A game to beat them. Michael is reborn now and, and playing great art. Raymond is a cross player, but he know I can do some good damage as well. Michael Van Gerwen is simply sensational. Barbie looks in the zone. The future of darts has just become the present. Oh, you don't get better than that. That way. Sponsors Premier League Darts on Sky Sports.